Hey everyone, Alice here with your weekly reading for July 11th to the 17th. Um, I thought I would just talk a little bit about this week and the energies around it. Uh, I did say that I probably wasn't really going to do like too much of it. Um, but I feel like this week I have to mention things. Um, not only do we have a full moon uh, in Capricorn, uh, but there are some interesting energies. Like, I find it interesting for me, and I'm just kind of relaying it to you because I figure, you know, I already look at it, so I might as well, you know, pass it on to you. Uh, there seems to be this energy of conflict between what you're thinking or what people are thinking and what they're feeling. Um, there just seems to be this energy of, you know, not really going after what it is that you feel in your heart and trying to look at things like logically, like wanting to really like put logic into how you're feeling. Um, it's the best way that I guess I can kind of describe it, you know, trying to actively balance your heart and your mind. I don't think it's like a bad thing. It's just, it can be, it can be frustrating and it can be confusing. Um, here, especially there are energies for people to even want to try to be almost emotionally manipulative. Um, this week, uh, people trying to almost, well, I don't even know if they are, but you might feel like you're being taken for granted, whether that's actually true or not. Um, it can just be some sort of trigger, um, feeling that, especially near the beginning of the week here. And then we have the full moon and the full moon Capricorn, uh, full moons are, you know, about closing out cycles. So the full moon Capricorn is kind of like letting go of things that like that you feel like the way that you're thinking, um, like a, a, some, some way that you thought, uh, that's really hard to shake, like a habit, like, you know, letting go of bad habits, I guess we can, we can put it that way. Um, or like things that kind of keep you very sort of codependent possibly, like trying to get past that there and trying to sort of you know, realize what are you, or what have you been, like, what way of thinking and feeling have you been, you know, lately, you know, the past few weeks, um, that has kind of been holding you back a little bit here. Um, I feel like the full moon is going to bring some epiphanies here for people, um, in the way that how they've been thinking about how they feel. And, th and realizing that maybe the way that they were thinking how they were feeling was not the way to go. <laughs> that it really wasn't helping them. That maybe it just ended up making them feel like they were being taken advantage of. Maybe feeling like the people around them were trying to manipulate them. And I feel like this epiphany may be happening around the moon, new, moon, new moon. The full moon. <laughs> and um, it seems like around Thursday there there is energy for people to try to sort of almost manipulate that like it just seems this week there's a lot of fighting for trying to control how you feel and try to do what makes sense here but then there are energies around you that may be kind of conflicting with that and making you feel like like it like you're like you maybe are not supposed to be thinking it's not not it's just that there are people here that might be trying to guilt trip you or trying to make you think like no you're wrong you shouldn't be thinking that way you know what i mean almost like they can be kind of gaslighting you as well here and i feel by the time you get to the end of the week um it's like that's it it's like okay you know what i'm gonna control this i can't take this i think i know what I feel. And it's like, it's almost like a, it can be like an aha moment here by the end of the week of just seeing some clarity on how you feel 
or how you know other people around you how they feel and then it's friday there is actually a really good day if you want to like talk so if you want to talk it out with somebody or communicate with somebody friday and saturday are really good times to have like a conversation it doesn't have to be a deep conversation just conversing um it you know it's i feel like it's a good time to have good conversations um there and then sunday is more of a leisure time if you have anything that you're working on a creative project or something along those lines um something that's fun to do uh yeah sunday's a good day for that as well but overall it just feels like there's a lot of heart versus mind going on this week so if you feel torn this week between how you feel and what you're thinking um yeah th that's just how the energy is and i feel like the full moon has a big part in that and um it'll it'll start to get better but there is a moment where it could get worse a little bit again i'm, I'm not an astrologer i just kind of you know read what other people kind of put out and I kind of like kind of put it together to how it would make sense for me into my life if anything I mean I really just take a lot of it with a grain of salt I'll be honest I forget a lot of it um by the time after I read it so like <laughs> so I actually don't know if any of the energies have worked out because I don't really track it that um closely but I just figure I would um mention it here just because it seemed that was I just thought it was interesting um that there seems to be a lot of uh conflict here between emotions and feeling versus things that make sense trying to make sense of how you feel um yeah okay um so the readings um I don't really choose how the readings go <laughs> Not really <laughs> it's kind of random but it's not because nothing is random so these readings are actually about your person um, the current person that you're dealing with the person who's on your mind the person you've been thinking about the person whose energy is connected to you this is just what spirit wants to talk about I don't know for some reason everything that I pull out um, I, if you call it a magic hat or whatever that just has you know types of readings that I do um, they're all related to this person, the person that you're thinking of. So we'll just see how they're feeling towards you this week and where is this connection with them going? That's, that's what, that's what, um, spirit wants to talk about. So that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, just, you know, technically these readings are timeless. I know it's for a week, you know, it's a spe specific week, but it doesn't matter when you find this, when you find it is when you're meant to find it. And there may be some messages in here for you. Uh, just keep in mind that these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Uh, so not everything is going to apply to your situation. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and don't try to force it. Just kind of go with your intuition. If it's not really making sense, it can be future influence. Um, or if it's, yeah, um, spirit will only tell you what you need to know. I feel like I need to mention that, um, spirit isn't going to tell you what they're doing, what your person is doing, unless it's relevant to you. Like, you can't really, like, spy on other people. Like, you can't see what they're doing with other people. Not Like, I'm not psychic. I mean, it's only what you need to know kind of thing. So, yeah, I'm just, I just feel like I needed to say that. Um, if you enjoy these readings uh, or you find them interesting or entertaining in any way, I appreciate it if you could like and or subscribe or share these videos as that helps me do more with the channel and you get to be notified when I post new readings up, which I try to do as frequently as I can. I will be doing the weekly readings, so all signs from Aries through Pisces, and I will be doing a full moon reading, um, and then this weekend I'll do the weekend reading. So that's kind of what I've got planned uh, for now. Okay, so um, that's it for the intro. Um, we'll get into the readings 
I know uh, you can check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, uh, you know, or any sign that you feel drawn to, as I just really use the signs as indicators. Um, so if you feel drawn to a certain video, maybe the title of it or something, you know, draws you in, uh, that's fine. Just use your intuition. Um, but you're going to be hearing this intro again. <laughs> So you can just, yeah. I mean, I was gonna say you can skip through it, but you've already made it here. So you're already here. We're about to start. So, okay. All right, Capricorn. Let's see how your person is feeling towards you in the current energy for this week. the star in reverse, the nine of cups, the knight of wands, the queen of cups, the king of wands, and the seven of pentacles. Your overall energy is the four of cups. This can be your energy or the energy around you. Mm. Yeah, there's some, the energy around you, I feel that you're not interested in something here. There's um, there's an energy of like, I don't really care here. Um, it might be because you've missed some opportunity here and you've, you know, detached yourself emotionally here from it. Hmm. I feel like... Something here, hmm, with the fool in reverse, it feels like something here didn't really start here, that there was somebody here may have played it safe here. I'm playing it safe here. Ah. I don't know who this empress is. There's a divine feminine energy here. It can be you. It can be you that there was something here that you decided I'm going to play it safe. I'm not going to take any unnecessary risks here, but I'm going to be still open to things here but you know it's kind of weird with the four of pentacles here they're like opposites that's why i'm like okay weird because the four of pentacles is somebody who keeps things to themselves um somebody who is not sharing here which is like the opposite of the empress so this is why this feels like a person um It, is, it almost feels like a possessive energy here. If this isn't you, which is starting not to feel like you here, that this is maybe your person here, um, or somebody here that you are almost treasuring. It feels like you're treasuring something here, and because you're holding on too tightly to something here, um, you're not getting opportunities. It's bl You're blocking yourself from opportunities here. Because it's almost like you're holding on to something here. You're holding on to this Empress. I don't know who this is. This can just be, you know, it's all energy. Um, it doesn't have to be a uh, female. Um, it's divine feminine energy. It can be that you're possibly holding on to the energy here of somebody here who is in this Empress energy. Somebody who you see very highly of here. Um, you know, not really wanting to take any risks here and instead just kind of almost treasuring this person here but it's not because when you do that you block yourself from opportunities here you know you block yourself from new starts from resetting things here for you in your life but it kind of feels like you don't even really care it's like you don't even care that nothing here is starting you're just like uninterested and have emotionally detached yourself hmm that's your energy, Capricorn. 
uh, for this current week. It's just, you know, things aren't happening here and you're just not interested in anything else that's going on. Okay. Um, your person, Capricorn, how they are perceiving you. I don't know why there's like stuff here. How this person is perceiving you. <laughs> I'm going to say this and I'm sorry and I don't mean to insult you, but th it doesn't have to be correct. This is just how your person sees you, how they perceive you. Doesn't mean that this is what's going on here. Um, but the th with the star in reverse and with the queen of cups here, uh, your person sees you as a bit of a hopeless romantic here. Um, they see you as somebody who's hopelessly in love. I don't know if it's with them, if they think that you're hopelessly in love with them, or if you're hopelessly in love with somebody else. I don't really know where it's coming from, but they do see you as somebody who has no hope here, who has given up, you know, their faith. Somebody who is fairly pessimistic, um, can be sad even, uh, even depressed here. And the source of it is, is love, um, the Queen of Cups somebody who, you know, that emotional connection here with somebody, that emotional intimacy here. I, I don't know if it's with this person, if they think that you're in love with them or not, it can be, or it can be that they think that you're in love with somebody else that you have no faith in, that you don't see it going anywhere. Um, you know, somebody who is in love with somebody who, you know, how they, that the, your person here thinks, you know, is never going to happen here. That they, it's like they see you as being in love with somebody that you can't have kind of thing. Um, I hope that's making sense. I, I don't know if that's true or not. This is just how they're perceiving you. Um, how this person feels towards you, the nine of cups in reverse, and the King of Wands. Well, to be quite frank, this person is disappointed. You know, they do wish that there was more here from you. Um, because this person, you know, they're attracted to you. With the King of Wands here, this person is quite attractive to you. Attracted to you. Um, they want something here with you. In fact, they want more than what you're giving them. That couldn't be why they're seeing you as somebody who has a lot of love to give. Um, but it's almost like you don't believe in love anymore. Um, there can be that as well. And this person, uh, you know, they wish that there was more here, you know, the way they feel towards you, you know, they feel like there's not enough, you know, they're feeling unsatisfied here. Um, and they're kind of bummed out because they think you're pretty hot and <laughs> they're just like, well, oh, man, I wish there was kind of more going on here. Um, more emotion. I, they might feel the desire from you, the passion here, or, or even towards you, they feel that, but uh, they're not feeling the emotional connection here. Um, it can also be from their end as well. They could just be attracted to, you know, you just, yeah, and not really having a lot of emotional um not feeling emotionally satisfied here. But I feel the emotional satisfaction is more because they feel that you don't believe in love or you don't believe in, or you, you have love, but you, there's a hopelessness, there's a sadness about it, a pessimistic type, uh, like viewpoint on it here. Um, their intentions here though, with the Nine of Wands, and the seven of pentacles in reverse, this person intends to come towards you. You know, this person fully intends to try something here, to take some sort of action here. And I don't think they're going to wait uh, with the seven of pentacles. This person definitely is kind of impatient here. Um, they don't want to waste any time here. So this person definitely is going to try to do something here uh, quite soon, probably. Um at least that's their intentions. That's what they want to do. They want to do something here. There's a lot of desire and passion here. Um, they're quite attracted to you. You know, they find you quite attractive. I'll say that at the very least, you know, they have a strong attraction towards you. Although your energy with the four of cups is 
you've emotionally detached yourself. You know, what they're thinking about you, thinking that you don't believe in love anymore may be correct. Um, as it does feel like you've emotionally detached yourself here because of this empress. I don't feel like this empress is this person. I feel like this is somebody else. Somebody else that you are keeping to yourself here. And that is why things aren't, things are, are not even moving slowly. They've just kind of stopped. Okay. Let's see here. Where is this connection going in the current energy? For this week. So we have the maze, we have fox, we have stork, we have fish, and we have you. Okay, well since you're there, we'll take the next two. So we have mountain and child. Hmm, interesting. Big and small. Okay, um... This is you, it doesn't matter if you're female or not. Uh, it's just a significator here in the deck. It just represents the, the seeker, you know, the person who the reading is for. So the direction where this connection is going, something is going to change here. In fact, there's gonna be a lot of changes that are gonna happen here. And I feel that you're gonna focus a lot on these changes here. You're gonna be focusing on the abundance of change that's happening. It, I feel like this is something that will be hard for you to um, ignore um, a little bit here. You're gonna be watching this here. Um, some of these changes, it can be that some of the changes are, there's something off about it with um, the fox here and with maze here. Uh, maze can be something that is quite frustrating. Um, because, you know, when you're in a maze, all you want to do is get out of the maze. Um, but if you can't get out of the maze, if every turn you take is just a dead end, then you have to start over and it's just very frustrating to keep hitting walls here. So, you know, the maze usually represents frustration here or just feeling lost, not really going anywhere, um, feeling directionless almost. Um, I feel that with Fox here, you might be hiding how lost you feel here um and this feeling or just hiding your frustrations here as well i don't feel it's in any way to be um purposely deceitful um it's just something that you want to hide you're being kind of sneaky about it about your frustration i feel like a lot of this you know is this energy here it's coming out look like this um this four of cups you know like look at her she's just kind of looking just kind of like ho-hum kind of thing like not really interested in things here like not really finding things very interesting you know that's what happens when you emotionally detach you just don't care you don't find things interesting here anymore and i feel like you may be hiding your frustrations here hiding this it's not hiding your disinterest but hiding um how lost you may feel um and that seems to go with these changes um stork can be about transformations changes cycles ending cycles beginning here i do feel that there's transformations things that are going to change here for you. A lot of things um, with this connection are going to change. Now, some of it is going to seem off because the fox, again, is... It, it, it's something that feels off. It can be a bit selfish here as well. Um, somebody who is kind of being like sneaky, clever, tricksy type of energy here. 
So this can be your person, this person, the person who thinks you're hot. Um, it can be that they're finding it frustrating that they're hitting walls with you here and they might resort to doing something sneaky here to try to change the tide here more in their favor here and I do feel it's going to change a lot here I don't know exactly what it's changing but a lot will change because of this because it's leading to that so this person is is possibly trying to facilitate these changes without you knowing here as well um there can be that uh but you're quite focused on this uh what you're not really paying attention to or what you're not focused on is this mountain and this child it does seem that whatever problem that you had um that was like a big problem like a mountain you know a mountain is a big problem you know if you're trying to get to the other side and you come across this mountain you're like well fuck you're like how am i supposed to get to the other side of the mountain you know like I can climb over it, I can go around it, but like either way, you're just like, that is just a big pain in my ass. Um, but with child here, it seems like it's becoming smaller. Um, and I don't think that you're noticing that whatever problem that you had, because the mountain is something that has been going on, excuse me, for a long time. Um, a mountain is, you know, you can't move a mountain. That mountain has been there for a long time. And, you know, it's posed a challenge here and you haven't figured out how to get past it. Um, it does seem with child here that it's smaller. It's a smaller problem than you might think it is. Uh, maybe the last time you looked at it, it was a big problem, but maybe now you haven't looked at it lately. You've kind of like stuffed it into the back corner of your mind and it looks like here it may have gotten smaller. It may not be as big of a problem as it once was. Uh, let's see your person here. Let me see where they are and what's going on here. Okay. I found them. So we have cross dog there's your person they don't have to be male um it's just a significator uh anchor and moon so your person here what your person is focused on is dog and cross um this can be a friendship a friend um that has been uh, I could say that it's been a bit of a pain in the ass for this person. Um, it's been a burden for them, definitely. They've um, felt some sort of pain or suffering um, that has come from a friendship um, here. Uh, it can also... Uh, wait, what was coming before that? Yeah, it's not really going to help me. Um, yeah, I mean, I mostly just feel that your, your person here is really focused on a friend that might be suffering some sort of pain here. Um, I, I'm not sure if they feel like the friendship is painful. It can be, or it can be that a friend is going through something, um, that is painful, that they are suffering some burdens, that they are having some, um, sort of problems here. Um, I'm not sure um, if it's that or if the friendship itself is painful here, but um, whatever it is, your person here is quite focused on that. That is where their focus is here. Um, you could be the friend, it's possible, but I, I don't think so. I think that um, in this case, it would be you, um, your significator. It wouldn't be this friend. So it does feel like they're dealing with a friend here who may be going through a tough time or the friendship is going through a rough patch right now. Uh, what they're not paying attention to here, or what they're kind of trying to ignore is you have anchor and we have moon. Uh, the anchor is something that's fairly permanent, fairly stable here. Um, something that um, doesn't really change here. And the moon can be um, about deep emotions here. Um, it can be about your, your dreams, your desires, your fantasies. I feel that this person has some fairly concrete dreams and fantasies and desires here that they 
um, are quite emotional about, you know, they have a lot of emotions for, they feel very deeply about these, and they've kind of put it on the back burner for now. I don't know what these um, entail here, um, but they, they are pretty concrete um, here. It's something that they've, you know, it can be, I'm getting marriage. This person might be somebody who always dreamed about getting married. Um, whatever it is, it's something that's very concrete. You know, this person has never changed their mind about this. This is something that is pretty um, unchanging here in this person's mind. Um, it's pretty stable and it has to do with some sort of dream that they've had. Um, but yeah, they're not really focused on that right now, but it is there. It's there in the back of their mind. Um, they still, you know, will think about it, but it's not where their current focus is right now. All right, let's get some guidance and or advice here for you, Capricorn. So let's see what... Uh, the universe of spirit wants you to know about the situation here. Just keep in mind, I don't know your situation. Um, you know it better than I do. So take this with a grain of salt. Um, be discerning here. Whatever I say, I'm just reading the energy here. So what does the universe want you to know about the situation here? Whoa. Okay, we have the star in reverse. Remember, that's like literally right underneath that. We have the sun, we have the magician, and we have the chariot. All major arcanas. Interesting. So this is an important message here. Under the chariot, we have the five of pentacles. I feel here the overall energy is you may have felt like you've made either a poor decision or that whatever decision you made, you didn't really have any good choices in this decision here. And that led to you feeling excluded, feeling without something here. And by feeling like you don't have something here, it's like you're doing your best to kind of move forward here. The chariot is moving forward in on your path, in your direction here. Oh, there's the four of cups again. See, this this can be a continuation here. So it's like, okay, you might feel in this four of cups energy here, um, feeling not interested here. And because you're not interested or, I would say not interested, like just feeling emotionally detached here. Um, this may me lead to a, a poor decision here or feeling like you don't have any good decisions to make, which leads to you feeling like you're feeling left out because, you know, you're not getting any opportunities here, you know, it's because of all this energy that I've explained before, um, which feeling left out may motivate you to move forward um, here, to go on a path here. Uh, it does seem here with the sun here that by going on this path here, you may find some clarity here. Um, the sun brings about clarity. The sun shines light on everything, you know, so that you can see what's going on here. So it does feel like if you move forward here, um, moving forward allows you to see what is going on here. It gives you the truth here. Um, more clarity. That's all I'm getting from the sun is just truth and clarity here can even be some success there as well because knowing the truth is feeling you know success as well um and here's the thing with the star in reverse um it being where it is um you might still feel this sad energy this hopeless energy this you know energy here you know your person here sees you as somebody who doesn't believe um, perhaps in love or somebody who is just very pessimistic when it comes to love or giving love here and 
the advice here is not to really let that go here. You don't have to completely um, abandon that. Um, <laughs> I know that's such a weird thing to say. It, I mean, it does feel like accepting the sadness here. Accepting that maybe you do feel this way. Um, you know, because the clarity here is, you know, your person just sees you like this. I don't know if it's true or not. You're probably just yelling at me going like, I don't feel that way. I mean, maybe, maybe it's not true, but maybe it's just future influence here. Maybe your person sees something that you don't see or you haven't acknowledged. I don't know. I'm just reading the energy here. You know, by moving forward and seeing things more clearly, you may start to accept you know, this star in reverse energy, you may start to accept that you have been feeling maybe sad about something here, that you may have been feeling hopeless or have lost faith in something here. And I mean, that's okay. Um, the magician here, it does feel that try, it's so weird. Try to avoid manipulating the situation. I see that your person may be trying to manipulate the situation, but you also might be trying to with the fox energy here. Um, Spirit is saying try to... Try, uh, yeah, try to m not manipulate the situation. Try not to get too focused on trying to make things happen as well. It almost feels like part of this is a bit of letting go a little bit here because the magician is somebody who can make anything happen but the magician is very hands-on you know the magician um uh you know ha uses a lot of concentration on their abilities and what they're doing here and sometimes sometimes um you have to kind of let things work for itself here you know like the whole thing like with manifesting and all that you know if you continually think about things you know you're not going to manifest it because you know you keep thinking about it you know you really just have to like you you think about it and then you just let it go kind of thing and i feel that's kind of what this energy is if you're manifesting something then just let it go like just let it happen you know don't don't try to keep making shit happen here <laughs> like don't keep trying to make fetch happen. If it's not working, it's not working. Um, I'm not saying give, in, give up or anything. It's just, it's just there in the energy there. I, I mean, I don't even know what it means. I'll be honest. This is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't really know what the message is here. I'm just, it's like, it's like getting, um, like translating something that you don't really know anything about. That's what it feels like right now. <laughs> If like if somebody was to hand me um like I don't really know any other languages but like it's like here translate this you know instruction manual about things like if it was all like scientific and all that I'm like I would have no idea really what it's talking about but I can translate it I know what the words are but I don't really understand the meaning that's kind of where I'm at right now I'm just saying what's there in the energy, but I don't really understand it. So maybe it makes sense to you. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Um, but uh, that's your reading, Capricorn. Uh, um, thanks for watching. Uh, good luck this week. Take care and I will talk to you later.